Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm filming a Princess Polly haul, as you can probably tell by the title. I am excited for this one in particular because it's the best of both worlds, in my personal opinion, because I have a few really cute cozy winter pieces and some really fun winter outfits but I also have some really beautiful summer pieces that I'm going to be taking with me to Europe so whether you're staying in some in Australia for the winter or if you're heading over to Europe for European summer I've got you covered on both ends I am so excited I love Princess Polly they really do have some great pieces a lot of my staple wardrobe pieces are from princess polly and of course it wouldn't be a video with them if i didn't have a discount code for you guys so cassidy 20 will save you 20 percent off everything store wide and if you spend over 60 dollars, you will get free express shipping so i will have everything linked down below sizes all the information you need all down in the description box so be sure to check that out and let me know what your favorite pieces are let me know if you're heading to europe let me know if you're staying in australia let me know what your plans are uh, but thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy so first i'm gonna start with this cozy stunning sweater that i'm currently wearing this is like my dream sweater it is so big and beautiful and oversized it is fleece lined and it is just so delicious like i would definitely go for walks and things like that in this but this is something that i will wear with skirts and wear under jackets and things like that to make more into an outfit rather than chucking it on with active wear but you know you can do listen it's your journey you can wear this however you want i love how fitted this is around the neck and then it's just cozy goodness and it's it's giving vintage but not at a vintage price and that's what we love and I am wearing a size 14 in this. I sized up. Next up, I got some suit pants. These are the Archer pants in black. I'm wearing a size 12. So I've been on the hunt for a really great pair of dress pants that are giving me that perfect amount of oversized bagginess. And these fit me like a dream without even needing to be tailored. I mean, I could probably get them taken up, but I don't usually do that because I love... It's my mum would hate this, but I love the drag. I love it, just adds to the oversizedness and they fit great. The quality is beautiful, and these are really I have honey's fur all over my face. God damn it, honey. Uh, these are a great staple piece to have in your wardrobe. I would say that these are a um, what is the bloody word I'm looking for? capsule wardrobe these are something that i think everyone should have in their wardrobe doesn't matter about the fit it's your personal preference for that but i think for job interviews for work for dressing up dressing down these are so incredibly versatile and i think that they should be in everyone's wardrobe no matter how you want to wear them me personally i like them oversized i have an event tonight with shark and it's on a boat and it's freaking freezing so i'm envisioning this wear with an oversized blazer um going that a bit more masculine cool girl look with like a really fun hairstyle i'll insert a photo if it comes to live but i love these pants they fit so incredibly well they sit on my hips beautifully what more could you want okay next these are the page mid-rise cargo jean in green so i think i got these from the petite section um but you know what that's kind of a hack because as you can see, these fit me freaking perfectly. I did get these in a size 12, but honestly, I would get in a usual, in like my non-petite, I would get these in a 12. These fit so perfectly. They're like this beautiful forest green, the perfect cargo pant. I think everyone needs, <laughs> I'm gonna say that everyone needs everything that I have. These are great. Like these are a bit more of a statement piece. Bagginess is in. Bag bagginess is my dream. Okay, I don't like showing off my body. If I'm at the beach, put me in the skimpiest bikini. But other than that, I will dress like a tomboy. I like like this with an oversized t-shirt. This with this sweater, white sneakers, crossbody bag. Say less. It's just and this freaking. It matches the green. I didn't even mean to do that. Next, I have the Jodie Maxi skirt in oatmeal. I got this in a size 10. She needs to steam, okay? Get off my back. Get off my back. Got it? I kind of wish I'd gone up to a 12 and I remember I was umming and ahhing 
between a 10 and a 12. This does fit me perfectly, but personal preference, I would love for it to be a little bit looser on my tush. Uh, but this is such a great summer piece, winter piece. Again, very versatile. This will be coming with me to Europe and I will be wearing it in the lead up to Europe. It's just a great piece. Like, we're, again, wearing it with like an oversized vintage looking sweater, some sneakers. That look is very in. Uh, it's a bit, would you say Scandinavian? I might be making that up. I don't know where I'm pulling that from. Linen is just so stunning. It wears really well on the body. It looks really beautiful. Photographs well. When I tell you I squealed when I saw they had this in my size, this is the Lioness Gory Maxi Skirt in Cream. This is in the size, in a size 10. <gasps> This is going straight in my suitcase for Europe, but as you will see how I've styled it here, it's just, you know, she's a little cheeky with how short this little like underlying, underlining is. It's so flattering. It's stunning. I'm so into the low rise. You know, I didn't think I would be such a low rise queen. Like if you told me two years ago, low rise was gonna be your best friend, I would have laughed in your face. But now I'm buying bloody low rise. Left, right and center, everything is freaking low rise. Obsessed. Watch me wear the crap out of this in Europe. Next, we're moving on to tops. This top is stunning. It's giving snatched. The material itself is like butter. It's so soft. It. It's giving skims. If you hear something crawling around in front of you, Honey's climbed into the box. So just ignore her. Bitch. Get out of the box! Out, 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 out! Thank you. The way I envisioned this when I saw this, especially with this halter neck, I thought, Coyote's ugly. Coyote's ugly, dancing up on the bar. Boobs looking good. Say less because it's this beautiful like burgundy color and that's just how I saw it. That's where my mind went. With those first black pants. I love black and red. It's not a usual choice. It's more of a bold color combo, but I love it. Okay, next up we have, ooh, I have a question for you because the, the name of this top has made this question pop into my mind. Do you pronounce it Uno or you know? I pronounce it Uno. Do I? Uno, you know, you know. I pronounce it Uno. What do you pronounce it? Because the name of this next top is pronounced is spelt U Z O. So is that Uzo or Uzo? It's a head scratcher. Anyway, I have the Uzo <laughs> or Uzo top in a size eight. A stunning little like backless number, semi backless number. Just a beautiful basic to have that's a little bit different than the standard uh, tank. Again, it's a very similar texture or texture material to the Macy top. Really soft like butter, great quality. It's also double line, which is great. Next, I have the Horror Night long sleeve top in a size eight. This is just a great long sleeve basic that has a little bit of print on it. Nothing that's too loud or obnoxious. It's just a great little staple. I love the look of like going braless with a long sleeve top with some low rise pants. Maybe on a date night going bowling on a Saturday night. I don't know, wherever you wanna go braless to, that's just how I pictured this. No bra, carefree, relaxed, low rise. The fit, great. I love it. This with the green pants, oof. This is the Anim one shoulder top. I'm wearing a size eight. I saw this and immediately thought with those black pants, low rise, stunning. With some like black cowboy boots, like some really pointy toed bo boots coming out the bottom. Glam face, hair done, such a stunning top. Oh, do you know what also it's giving? Cameron Diaz in Charlie's Angels. This, but in a red top, to like, if you merged the two of these and they had a baby and this was in red, that with the low rise black pants, such a Charlie's Angels top, but anything one shouldered just looks immediately more dressy, 
and like you've put more effort in. I love that I've managed to get three tops with the same material. It's just so soft. It's like butter. It feels so beautiful on the skin. A little ruching as well is also really flattering. And I don't really have any tops in this color. So next up, we have the Bella Moto jacket from Lioness. I got this in a size 10 because I didn't want it to be oversized. I think I envisioned myself wearing this more so always done up as a top itself. Like I would probably put a top underneath it in case I get hot, but I would want this done up so that it's a bit more of a masculine look. And this is the top rather than wearing it as a layered piece. The color is amazing. I don't have any jackets in this color. A hey, maxi dress. This is the Benna maxi dress in a size eight. Again, that buttery material, flattering AF on the body comfortable to wear oh this next dress i saw this and i said europe needs you europe needs you to come with me in my suitcase this is the frida maxi dress and it is one of the most glorious maxi dresses i've ever seen in my entire life that my eyeballs have ever laid their eyeballs on the material is so flattering it just hangs on the body so lightweight, it'll be perfect for Europe. I could wear this during the day with sneakers, just sightseeing, and then pop some sandals or some heels on at night, and it's a beautiful dressed up dress. I love anything that's versatile. Are we picking up a pattern here? I like that I can wear things multiple ways and get a different feel and vibe out of them, if you will. Okay, then we're moving on to accessories. I need to send a photo of this belt to my mom. She's going to squeal. This is so stunning. And this with that skirt. It's just mm, so freaking cute. And my mom will see this because I remember having a belt like this. Well, not me, but my older sisters. I remember them having belts like this growing up when they were like, 14 to 18, especially Stacy. I need to send Stacy a photo of this belt because she will be like, she should have just hung onto hers and I could have had hers. Isn't it beautiful? And I love the turquoise stones. It's just a beautiful pop of color. Oh, this is coming to Europe with me. Next, I got this stunning pendant necklace. It's more of like a statement piece. The reason I got this was because I don't have any that are on like a, it's kind of like a rope that are silver. And then last, but certainly not least, I got a pair of boots. A pair of cowboy boots, because I've wanted these for such a long time. A pair of cowboy boots with the white stitching. I have a black pair, but to be honest, I don't love them. They're a bit wide around my calves. These are so flattering. They fit like a glove. Alrighty guys, that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what your favorite piece or pieces are. Let me know what your travel plans are, if you're shopping for Europe, if you're shopping for winter. Don't forget to check the description box. All the links, sizing information, everything you need to know will be down below. And also my discount code CASSIDY20 will save you 20% off store-wide. And if you spend over $60, you will get free express shipping. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video and working with me. I bloody adore you guys. Mwah. But I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.